Hello YouTube and welcome back to Star Trek Voyager Elite Force. So I finally figured out how to open this door and you kind of have to go down here. Oh, I forgot about gravity. I thought I thought we were in microgravity, but anyway. Um, and if we push these guys around and then get on the lift, they will follow you. So, meh. So, let's get back into it. So our mission objectives at the moment are to realign the plasma focusing router to supply power to the firing mechanism and proceed to the lo loading chamber. The door is locked, sir. Tuvok said he disabled all the security locks. Too bad Chell isn't here. And I think I finally fixed my sound issues I've been There's having. Micro fissures in the door so I think I can we'll them. find out. Take cover. Good work, Austin. I wouldn't be much of a demolitionist if I couldn't blow up a door. That's a reference to an earlier thing that Chell said. I wouldn't be much of an engineer if I couldn't open a door. Oh, there's bad guys. Should have expected that. Ah, oh, should have dodged that. Yeah, there's another one. Trying to. There we go. And another. Try and get them before they come around the door. Ooh. Messy. And another lift. So I did end up speeding up the lift sections in the previous video because man, they just dragged on and on. Not too bad when you've only got two crew members with you, but um, when you've got a couple of them, like, you know, four or five, it Oh, this looks like a ambush area. How did I guess? Well, they were dumb. How much ammo have I got for that? Mm, not a lot. I'll stick with this for now. Ooh. Oh, he's still alive. Thought he was dead. Get some weapon energy. And now we're upstairs. So this is the room we were in before, but we're on that side and down on the ground. So I should be able to realign this with this panel here. That was easy. Okay. Hey, they're actually running this time. This reminds me of lifting Half-Life. It's on an angle like this, but there's head crabs coming down there. Uh, where are we? Cool. I can see the harvester. It's almost a voyage. They're helpless. Hurry, Alex. Did you get all of them? Cool. Luckily, you don't take splash damage when they explode like that. So, I've been watching a lot of um, Doom mods. There's a guy, I think his name's Icarus. Icarus Lives, uh, who does a channel called. Who does a channel called Doom Mod Madness? Or at least the videos that he does are called Doom Mod Madness, and they're really good. So, I might do some playthroughs of Doom. Um, at the moment, I've actually been playing Free Doom because it came. I wanted a Doom port for my phone, and it came with Free Doom by default, although you can use your own Doom files to play regular Doom. And it's actually not a bad game, considering it's like an open source. We're not getting through here with those rods down. <laughs> Open source free game. So, um, yeah, I might give that a bit of a playthrough on the channel because I've really been enjoying it. I don't need health. I do need weapon ammo, though. You coming too? What about? Oh, yeah, they're both with me. Oh, 
take that alien scum. I needed that. The fact that it's giving me this much ammo makes me think there's a boss fight coming. I'm sure there's a gun like this in Quake 3. Right, oh wow, that is a big whatever it is. This gun's cutting through them a bit more. Really? This gun's cutting through them a bit more effectively at least. Oh come on guys, sort your shit out. All these monsters and we get stuck on the lift. I'm stuck! stuck on the wall, that was a little bit embarrassing. A little bit of health. And uh-oh, more bots. Hey, that's the rod cooling chamber we just came from. No kidding. Uh, there's quite a few of them. Good. That's a big one. Ah, uh, he's not going to be fooled by the same thing. That's annoying. We'll have to go out there and take him out the old-fashioned way. Photon torpedo to the face. Well, perhaps if you ran a bit faster, you wouldn't have to jump. Ah! Missed. And again. Well, that's not as effective as I've hoped. <sighs> what have we got in the way of ammo? Uh, there. This is actually quite effective against them. So hopefully now... Where are we at? Oh, yeah, left. That bridge should be clear. Those big ones. At least they're not being shy with the ammo too. Oh, this must be the charge chamber where we can load up the charge. You are in the storage chamber. The energy rounds for the weapon should be there. You mean these ones? But how do we get it to the firing chamber? I guess we're gonna go on a bit of a tram ride. This gun's not so good. Anybody home? Yeah. This isn't going so well. Slightly better tactic. Oh, there's another one. They kind of blend in with the walls. They're really hard to spot. Luckily though, you can hide just around the corner like I am. I'm not actually hitting it, am I? Oh, there's more in there. We have to keep moving, Austin. What is the delay? Why haven't you loaded the charge yet? I'm working on it, sir. These two are a bit impatient. I'm not too sure if he was supposed to die. 
Um, I'm going to say no, probably not. But, like I said, we've got to carry on and get the mission objectives done, or else Voyager is going to be in a world of pain. Be nearly there. Time is of the essence. No, I know. Where is it? There it is. Damn it. Health tone will be nice right about now. Why don't we just run past these things? It's so much easier if it wasn't for the force fields. There we go. And I really need some more ammo. We are out of time, Ensign. Load the charge now, or Voyager may be lost. I'm loading it now. That would be highly advisable, Mr. Monroe. It's too much. Commander. Acknowledged. I am initiating the firing sequence. Prepare to beam back to Voyager. everyone else. We took some damage, had to beat me back separately. Tuvok needs you, come on. Well, I need Harvard's ammo. ship was only disabled, but now they're trying to board us. That's one tough ship, but at least Voyager's still in one piece. Chang, Monroe, the harvester's docking tendrils are attempting to breach the hull. Go to the equipment room and restock. Oh, good. Move it! You run like sissy girl. If the harvesters are in... I stick with this because it. Okay? Uh, maybe it's a bit too high, too fast firing. Go through ammo too fast, and there's some injured people. See, we took some casualties. Do you require medical attention? A little bit. Thank you. Let's go and. Find some harvesters. Oh. I don't think he made it somehow. The harvesters are spreading out into the corridors. Stop them at any cost. I'm trying, I'm trying. Oh, these things are just gonna suck through ammo, aren't they? Ammo. Actually, maybe if I didn't miss quite as often. Needed that. <clears throat> right. Are you alright over there? No, I don't think she's very well. Why am I the only one fighting these things at the moment? Help. No kidding. They're not too difficult to kill, but they do... Uh, they're just ammo sponges. I've already been here. 
Where am I supposed to go next? That door's locked. Aha! Oh, I was hoping I could blow that up. There we go. Well, this is awkward. I'm out of ammo. Much better. I think I'm supposed to get on that lift. Whew, that was intense. Out of ammo again. I'm really low on health now too. Is this the way I came in? No? Yeah, I thought so. Um, where am I supposed to go? There we go. A bit more action. Everyone okay? We do not require medical attention. Your assistance is much appreciated, Ensign. I'll say. Any later and we might have been a harvester snack. When road a bridge, the harvesters have been eliminated. Good work, Ensign. We'll get cleanup crews down there on the double. Can't believe the aliens survived the hit from that dreadnought. It would have been much worse had we not disabled the harvester. Not that that's going to make anyone around here feel any better. What do you mean? Let's just say that, as ship's morale officer, I've noticed people are a little on edge from constantly being on the defensive for so long. I just hope we get out of here soon. Tuvok, Ensign Monroe, report to the conference room in half an hour. ISODCM is working. Environmental controls and most critical systems will be online soon. But I don't know if we'll get full power back. How long before warp drive? I want to get Voyager as far from this death trap as possible. I might be able to get it up and running, but I can't guarantee its stability with that constant power drain from the forge's dampening field. Harry, what about sensors? Can we... Wait, aren't we... Go ahead, Ensign. What's on your mind? Well, aren't we going to counterattack? What? I mean, are we just going to sit here and wait for them to attack again, or are we going to strike back? I don't intend to leave Voyager a sitting duck, Ensign. Maybe you weren't paying attention just now, but we're doing our best to get out of here. Mr. Monroe, you were invited to this conference as a courtesy. The captain has rejected your proposal. Captain, I'm just saying what everyone is thinking. All right, Ensign. Just what is everyone thinking? Well, it's just that people are tired of being on the defensive. I have to agree. I've talked with some of the crew. Morale is low. They feel vulnerable. The best defense is often a strong offense. What are we supposed to do without engines and weapons? Drift over there and use harsh language? That thing's outer defenses could cut Voyager to ribbons. Not every problem can be solved by force, Ensign. I would have thought you would know that by now. While we're sitting here licking our wounds, the Forge could send another Harvester ship. All the more reason to get repairs done sooner. But what if the repairs can't be finished because of that dampening field? I understand. We're all feeling vulnerable. But I'm not just captain of this ship. I'm the captain of her crew as well. I can't ignore the morale of my people. If they don't get a chance to fight back, they might not have any fight left in them by the time the next Harvester comes. And I can't ignore the fate of the other countless victims this forge has taken, and the ones it's yet to take. We've been fighting so hard for our own survival, 
We've almost forgotten our responsibility to the others trapped here. If we have a chance to stop this madness once and for all, we must take it. However, Voyager is in no shape to challenge the Forge. Mr. Monroe, I take it you have a plan in mind. Yes, I do. Trojan Horse. The Harvester ship. Of course! I can take a small team of my best people. We use the Harvester to enter the Forge and lower its defenses so you can send reinforcements and shuttles. If we can shut down the dampening field, Voyager and the other ships should be able to escape. We don't have any idea what kind of internal defenses that thing has. At the very least, we can buy Voyager some time. All right. Tuvok, Chakotay, Monroe, let's put together a plan. It's time we brought the fight to our captors. Once the dampening field generator is down, we will evacuate the forge and return to Voyager via the shuttlecrafts. Crewman Jaworski, yes. Sir, how are we going to get the harvester back to the forge? We don't know how to operate it, do we? A science team has examined the harvester ship and discovered an automatic recall system. The ship is programmed to return to the forge on its own. Your team leader, Ensign Monroe, will now brief you on your specific mission objectives. The first team is going to be a small group, just myself, Telsia, Beesman, and Chell. We will board the harvester and initiate the auto-return sequence. We believe the harvester will return to this area of the forge, a docking ring of some sort. Still under construction, apparently. Our scans indicate that the external defense's power grid is located somewhere in this area. Once we shut it down, we'll call for the reinforcements. That's where the rest of you come in. Once we rendezvous, we will spread out and proceed down this main shaft. We'll try to locate the generator for the dampening field and destroy it, allowing Voyager to escape. Any questions? Liz. What kind of resistance are we going to run into? Honestly, we don't know. We presume there'll be more harvesters over there and who knows what else. We don't know anything about this forge and who's operating it, but I expect pretty heavy resistance. Look, I know some of you must be scared. I know I am. But the Hazard team was created and trained for exactly this kind of dangerous assignment. We can beat this thing. This crew has repeatedly surprised and impressed me over these past several years. Starfleet, Maquis, and others. We've all come together and performed beyond the expectations of even the finest starship crew. I know you can do this. We will shut down this death trap. All right. Let's suit up and get going. My team, meet by the Harvester docking tendril in one half hour. Dismissed. Come to wish me luck, Tuvok? Vulcans do not believe in luck, Mr. Monroe. However, your success is crucial. And while I believe you will prevail, I hope that your mission does not encounter undue adversity. Thanks, Tuvok. We will join you as soon as your team deactivates the outer defenses. So, we've been promoted. We're now the team leader of the Hazard Team, and we're about to finally take on the Forge and see if we can get Voyager released. But that's going to be in the next episode, so thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.